Hello and good afternoon. We are here with all the important topics right before the U.S. stock market rings the bell. U.S.-based buyout fund Apollo Global Management in collaboration with local fund JB Capital is reportedly preparing a bid for Vodafone's Spanish unit, as per expansion newspaper sources. This development follows just three weeks after the British telecom investment firm Zegona revealed its discussions with Vodafone regarding the acquisition of the same unit. The Spanish division of Vodafone is estimated to be valued at approximately 5 billion euros, 5.27 billion dollars. Earlier in the year, Vodafone's CEO, Margarita de la Valle, initiated a strategic review of the Spanish segment, hinting at potential structural changes, including a sale, given the fierce price competition the business has faced. Vodafone stands as one of the top three telecom operators in Spain, alongside Telefonica and France's Orange local unit. Notably, Orange is currently in merger talks with Mass Mobile, Spain's fourth largest operator. Both Apollo and JB Capital have yet to comment on the matter. HSBC Holdings PLC has announced its acquisition of Citigroup Inc.'s retail wealth management portfolio in mainland China, furthering its growth in the world's second largest economy. The portfolio, valued at approximately $3.6 billion, encompasses assets and deposits from wealth customers in 11 major Chinese cities. While the terms remain undisclosed, the deal is slated for completion in the first half of 2024, according to Citi. This move aligns with HSBC's ambition to dominate the rapidly expanding Chinese wealth market, despite prevailing apprehensions regarding the Chinese economy, particularly the downturn in its real estate sector. Nuno Matos, CEO of Wealth and Personal Banking at HSBC, emphasized the significance of mainland China in their Asian wealth management strategy. HSBC continues to enhance its footprint in China, recently acquiring a 50% stake in HSBC Life China and initiating private banking ventures in six cities. Concurrently, this sale marks Citi's ongoing exit from its consumer banking operations in China, announced in December 2022. Bristol Myers Squibb BMY, has announced its intention to purchase cancer drug maker Marathi Therapeutics MRTX, in a deal valued at up to $5.8 billion. This acquisition aims to diversify Bristol's oncology segment and introduce drugs to potentially counterbalance anticipated revenue losses from upcoming patent expirations. The deal includes Marathi's portfolio of drugs targeting specific cancer genetic drivers, notably the lung cancer drug, Crizati, approved last December. Another compound, MRTX 1719, also for certain lung cancers, was highlighted as a significant draw. The purchase price is set at $58 per Marathi share, totaling around $4.8 billion. Factoring in Marathi's cash reserves, the effective enterprise value stands at $3.7 billion. Additionally, Marathi shareholders will receive a non-tradable contingent value right per share, adding up to a potential $1 billion in value. The acquisition comes as Bristol faces challenges with declining demands for its leading drugs, Revlimide and Eliquis. The deal is set to be financed through a mix of cash and debt. This is all we have for you today. We are Mexim TV, and we will be here next week, same place, same time. Goodbye.